Hey everyone, welcome to this video. So in this video, we are gonna fix a couple of issues with the code, which is caused by what is rendered at what time. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna first of all make a conditional statement down here saying if route is home then we want to load this one otherwise we want to check if route is edit the post or if it is new that post otherwise it will not be loaded on the bottom in the case that it's not home we want to load the script below the CSRF token otherwise it will give an error and because it needs to load the CSRF token in app.js and it will give an error because HTML read from down from up to down from the start of the page uh, document to the end of it therefore it will give an error so we need to say if it's not home we would like to render this one so by doing this we will have no errors here ability to go in here go in new post create a new post and we need to create a longer post here because we need to do a lot of things now um, so basically we're gonna create some posts with a lot of text <coughs> which we're gonna then in the next video we're gonna look at how we can trim it and how we can remove the HTML tag from here. So in this video, beside trimming and beside doing this, we are gonna implement the ability to upload an image. All right, so what we need to do now is we need to save a file. So first of all, we're gonna have to request the cover, which is the file name and file extension. Then we get the file extension and we get storage here. So we need to import this from the facades um, part and then we need to import this as well. And then it all gets stored in the public disk. So we can all the way see up here which ones you need to use to be able to make this work completely. So when you have done all of that, this should work perfectly fine. Um, so now we of course need to make sure that the migration contains the ability to upload the file extension and the file name, so we can store both of them. And then we also need to be sure that we store it in the database and of course create the field and make sure that Ajax will actually send it to here. And also, we need to validate the image, so we make sure that you can only upload an image, not uh, anything else. So first of all, let's go into our database file. So inside the database file, um, and here we can go in and create two strings. We can create one that's called cover, and then we can create one that's called cover. Uh, extension so the thing is I always like to keep the file type separate from that because you never know when you need to check what file type it is and what file name it is so just to be sure that we can have this one stored as well to make it simpler in the JavaScript area, in that scenario. So what we can do now is we can go in and say block. Then we can go in and say um, cover. 
and we can make this the same as the cover because that's going to be the sorry we can put that the same as cover get file name dot 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 extension All right and then we can say block extension it's then going to be the same as extension Okay, good. Just to be sure that it all spelled correctly. So now what will happen is we go into the database and it will basically store the link to the image and then we have the public folder here where the link actually appears. So what we can do now is we can go in and run a fish migration just like this. It will delete all of your data in the database, but since we are in development testing, shouldn't be a problem if you already have published this site online i strongly recommend you to back up the data so now we're going to do the validation and then afterwards we're going to do the form request all right so what we need to do now is we're going to say cover is going to be required it's going to be mimes it's going to be PNG. So it's gonna be PNG, um, JPG, JPG. Then we're gonna have a max of two thousand and forty-eight megabytes. Select like this. And what we need to do as well is. Make sure um, that you also inside the configuration files, inside the file system, if you're using an older version of Blavo for some reason, use the public isn't here. Make sure that you have this code in here, otherwise it will fail because this is basically allowing it to public the file inside a public folder. So as a user, you can access it and print it on the website. All right, so what we do need to do now is actually not very complicated. We just need to go inside our resources, views, pages, blog, new. Let's start with that one here. Um, in the next video, we're gonna do the edit functionality for this, so it won't get too long. So we're gonna go in here and we're gonna go here we're gonna add all of these here as well and then we're gonna create a variable where we will say var data because new And then we say data.append title title and then we say root content here. So the last thing we need to do now is actually just to get the image field and make the image field. So first of all, we need to go to get bootstrap and find out what the proper field would be for this. So you can go in and search for input um, file and I will just take the first one. You can choose one of the other ones if you think that will work better for you. So we can go up here and I'm deciding to put it here. And 
then we're gonna take this ID and say var cover equals document Then we're gonna say files. So, should we grab the first file? That is it, because you can only upload one file in this case from this ID. And then we go in here, say cover is cover. So, by doing this, we need to actually in this case actually create a new user because we just deleted everything so first of all let's create a new user then Let's set this user to admin. Submit it. Say new post. Hello world. Upload an image here. Say hello world. So this is because it's an SVG file. So we already know now that an SVG. Okay, so this is actually a PNG file. So I think um, the issue here is most likely just gonna be that we have to put a dot on it. Like that. So if we wait for it to be loaded, hello and okay. So just give me a moment. I will fix this issue. All right. So by doing like this, we're moving the space and saying image here should fix the issue. So now if we go in here, say hello, upload this one, click submit, and we have our first post. It's resetting from to zero now. So we also have the image uploaded and now we can actually go in and print the image. So we are gonna print the image and do the edit page in the next video. But what we are gonna, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna upload the code now online in this week, and then I am gonna allow you to see the example of it. At some point, I might update the graphical user interface of it. Uh, and maybe also update the code later on but in that scenario I will have the source code available as well which also will be available in the end of this series you will have the source code for the entire code and you will also have the ability to um, <clears throat> then set it up and it will be for free the source code thank you very much for watching this video if you like my content or if you want to see more content like this Hit the like button and click subscribe.